the text was an old text that I wrote for the Yangtze River Open Air Museum, where the works of over 130 world-renowned Chinese painters were engraved on a cliff of the mountain. <coughs> and that formed an open air museum. And this text served as a preamble to the museum. So originally it was engraved on three slabs you know, of green stone which were erect at the entrance of the museum. So we wanted to show the stamping, but eventually I decided to do a new calligraphy based on the same text. And in this new calligraphy, I borrow, you know, elements from traditions. For instance, you know, uh, you can see corrections, you know, huh? omission, because I, I memorized the text and I just think, you know, uh, very spontaneously let it flow. But sometimes you, you, you do forget, but I cross it out, I correct it, and this is traditional allowable, because actually throughout the whole history of Chinese calligraphy, a few greatest masterpieces are actually scribbling, you know, a piece of, of letters uh, and so and so on, in which you know, a lot of correction. So I also keep the tradition. The second character, you can see the red dot, you know, where I punctuate, you know, which I think are the most important sentences in different paragraphs. And this again, borrowed from tradition, because in ancient texts, there was no punctuation. So reader has to use a crimson red color to circle, you know, the paragraph, you know, where to stop, you know, the, you know, the kind of punctuating uh, the text. And thirdly, during, you know, the ancient, for instance, the Qing dynasty, where novels were illustrated with drawings. So I also borrow that element you know, from tradition and incorporate in this new piece of work. You can see, when I talk about the, the, the cry of the gibbons, you know, along the Yangtze River, I paint, you know, with line and, you know, uh, uh, structure, you know, the form of a monkey, a gibbon. And here, I paint, you know, a new figure because at a certain point of the Yangtze River, on top of a peak, there appears, you know, the, the declining figure of the goddess. So I paint a new tear when the line says about the goddess. You see? And now also, I, I also draw a line in drawing of the, of the river scape of the Yangtze. And all these old elements combine, you know, to contribute to my new composition, which is my own style and my own creation.